you guys it is jessica doing things differently and today i have for you guys a new video and not just any new video no no one i've never done before so exciting um okay so here we go hear me out right i'm scrolling through the sites that i normally so scroll through and i'm not finding what i need right i go over to vova and i'm like all right Okay, I found a few. Not enough. So then I say, what other site has some affordable, yet trendy, yet, you know, my style type thing that I'm looking for, right? So I said, ding, 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 AliExpress. And I said, okay, let me head on over there. So I went over there and bam, boom, ba da found everything I was looking for. So exciting. So I put everything in my cart and I checked out. Now everything came to me in a pretty reasonable amount of time. You know, sometimes things can take a really long time to come. So it's very nice when things don't take that long. Hey, that's pretty good. Now, when I say it didn't take that long, I mean, it didn't take four months to get to me. Did it take about a month to a month and a half? Yes. Yes, it did. <laughs> but it still came and that is all we care about. So we're gonna go ahead and do an AliExpress shoe haul. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the shout out of the week, which goes to John. Thank you so much for commenting. I appreciate each and every one of you, like always. I know I say that in all of my videos and I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing it. However, I won't stop saying it because it's true. <laughs> And it's something that I feel is necessary to say in every video because it is something that is honestly so important to me, you know? So uh, anyways, I appreciate him for commenting. This is the first time I've ever seen him comment. He is a subscriber to my channel, so yay. So I'm super excited when my subscribers comment. You know, I love when people comment regardless, but it makes me happy when the people who are, are with me, you know, who are subscribed, who are part of the team, comment because that lets me know that not only are you part of the team you're also part of the comment squad <laughs> you know so that's exciting uh keep it up keep on commenting make sure that you comment as much and as often as you would like and maybe you will be featured in my next week's shout out all right so without further gabbing without further talking without further diarrhea of the mouth <laughs> got <he. laughs> Got <laughs> Let's go ahead and get straight in to this video. Let's go. All right. So now while I did say that this was a shoe haul, I did pick up a couple more things from there. So let's go ahead and get those out of the way uh, so that we can move on to the shoes. All right. So the first little guy is this. Now this is a very basic, very uh, like toodaloo. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. A uh, very basic piece that I think is very important for a lot of different reasons, but I'll let me get it out of the bag and show you. So, you know when you're charging your phone and you sometimes you have really short cords and they're not long enough, or when you're charging your phone and you want to set it down somewhere but you're afraid that somebody might step on it, you know, you're at somebody's house and the only cord is in the living room by the TV, uh, and you're afraid somebody, one of the little kids are going to run past and stop on it or you know you're at somebody's house and it's outside and you're sitting on the deck and there's uh, an outlet there but it's right where the walkway is you know so you're just worried about setting your phone just down anywhere because you can't sit in the middle of the deck floor you know you can't sit right in the middle of the, of the tv so you need somewhere to set your phone without having to worry that somebody's going to trample on it or a little kid's going to run in and spill their juice on it you know this is the perfect little gadget for that so what this is, is basically a little shelf for your phone. So this is where the outlet would be. You would plug your phone in, set this here, and then you're gonna set your phone right here so that it can charge. This way, it's no longer in the way of getting hurt, getting broken, getting trampled on, getting milk spilled on it or juice or water. You know, safe safety first <laughs> so i thought that this was pretty cool you know i think everybody needs it in their life and it's actually really sturdy um i think that this is going to work well now will it i don't know but i'll put a short clip in and let you guys know if it worked so 
this was very hard to get on there. I'm not sure if it would work for everybody's phone, but as you can see, the phone is on there and it is charging. So, I don't know, it's a little bit difficult, like I said, to get put, but once you have it put, it's okay. Um, you just have to put it there and leave it. <laughs> it's not something you can fumble around with. However, I think if you got one that was a little bit more, um, I don't know, sturdy, a little bit more maybe expensive, or one that had like a longer sitting spot on it, like a longer piece right here, um, I think it would be a little bit better. But all in all, for the price, you're kind of getting what you pay for. <laughs> so, all right, let's continue on. So, moving on, lashes. <laughs> of course, you can never have too many. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So that little shelf thing was $1.28. That's, that's like pennies, you know? So this was $1.26, and then there was shipping. So altogether, this was $3.35. <laughs> Bam. So these are lashes, and these ones are a little bit thicker. Um, they do have a less curve, uh, but I did pick that this time. Now the reason being is because sometimes the curve can be a little bit too much for me. So I like them to be as natural as possible. Uh, let me take these out. So these are 14 mm's and it's 20 D. I don't know really what the 20 D part means, but the 14 millimeters is how long the lashes themselves are. Now, yes, baby, these cases uh, have proven to not be the best cases. So unfortunately, that whole clip of me showing you, you couldn't see them. But this is what they look like. Let me go ahead and show you what they look like from the side. All right, so not a huge curve, which is what I was saying. But yeah, these are really nice. They are much thicker than the other ones I've gotten. So definitely so these worth will be the perfect. price. Um, and for three dollars, that's a steal, you know, or maybe it's not who knows I don't know but when I do individual lashes they can t they tend to be I don't want to say more expensive because three dollars isn't expensive uh, But I definitely could get a pack of like six full band lashes for like five dollars So sometimes I buy the full band and then I just chop them up like individuals But those ones come in a peak, you know they, they come like this. And then that peak right there is a perfect set on my lashes. So I really prefer them. But hey, uh, if I have to cut a band up, no big deal. All right, well, let's get into the shoes. We're going to be doing four separate things. Are they comfortable? You know, cause that's a huge one. They have to be comfortable. Was the price good for what shoe I got? Is it worth it? Or is it just a piece of trash that I'm not gonna wear anyway so it doesn't really matter how cheap it was? You know, you know where I'm going with that? Okay. Is it trendy? And I don't mean trendy like, will anybody just wear it? But is it something that, you know, to me, stylish? Because I'm not gonna go off somebody else's style. Somebody else's style might not be my style. So it has to be my trendy, my stylish, you know? Uh, because I'm gonna be the one wearing them. So are they trendy to me? And then the last one, most importantly, would I recommend them? Because I can wear a pair of shoes and just, you know, disregard the flaws because I'm wearing them and I spent my money on them, so I'm just gonna wear them. But does that mean I would recommend them? Or does that mean I would just wear them because I spent my money on them, but I wouldn't recommend them to anybody? So those are four different categories that we're gonna be looking at today. Today, all right. So we're gonna start with the smallest one, the most ridiculous one, if I might add. So these ones were uh, $2.99 and then the shipping all together, they turned out to be $3.29. Now, I go camping a lot and a lot of times I get in the water and when I get in the water, you know, um, it's not like pool water, you know, you're not, you're not touching a clear blue ground. Uh, you're touching rocks and you're touching the sand at the bottom and you're touching uh, sticks and, and whatever people dropped when they were canoeing by, you know. So you want to protect your feet, or I do. You may not want to. <laughs> That's fine, but I do. So when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, perfect water shoes. Now, I understand that I can go to any store and get water shoes, but for some reason, these ones looked, they stuck out to me. Maybe it was the price. <laughs> Maybe it was the way they looked. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was probably the price. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. So let's go ahead and open them up. All right, for starters, 
Do you guys see this? Okay, these are a pair of shoes, mind you. Look how skinny. How? Let's find out. Yes, I will try these on, but first, first, I want to show you what this is because to me, this looks like a little cleaning thing, mitt. Little, put your little mitt on and clean up your, hey, clean up your body, clean up your stove, clean up your toilet. I don't care what you do with it, but it looks like that. Now, it does have these little grip things, if that's what you want to call them. So that, you know, you don't slip, slide, whatever. Um, what are those doing? Because I could probably scrape them off. That's how tiny these little things are. Okay. Okay. We're going we're gonna to go out away from that little part. I cannot remember for the life of me what size I got these in. And of course, because they're so tiny. Uh, I'll put it up here on the screen. But um, I want to say that I got between a 38 to a 39 because I've noticed I'm usually a size eight when it comes to foreign um, websites because I'm usually a seven to a seven and a half and foreign website shoes tend to run small. So comfort, we don't know yet. The price, um, less than $4, $3.29. I'll get back to you because they're not falling apart they're, they're actually well made in, in the sense that they're not falling apart. All right, so my um, camera just died. I don't know where it was with these, but I think I'm just kind of at the point now <laughs> where I just want to try them on. So let's go. All right, so here they are. They honestly feel like a pair of socks. So I don't know. Um, are they worth it? I mean, I guess so. If this is what you're looking for so that your feet don't have to touch the ground, um, then yes, they're fine. But if this is not what you're looking for and you're looking for something that has like a bottom to it, um, like a sole, then no, these are absolutely 100% not what you're looking for. However, I'm not gonna lie, they're pretty comfortable. And while the grips aren't like that great, you know how sometimes when there's grips on the bottom of your shoes, uh, you can feel them on your feet? You cannot feel them. So that's a good thing, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and see what else we got because there's not much to say about these. Would I recommend them? Sure. Only if this is what you're looking for. Um, are they cute? I don't think they're that bad. I think that for water shoes, I would say that these are actually okay. They're not bad at all. You know, they don't make my feet look big. Are they comfortable? Uh, yeah, I would say that they are very comfortable. It's like wearing socks. So of course they are. Let's see what else we got. All right, so let's keep it moving. Next we have these guys. They were $10.52 plus shipping equaling out to $12.99. So a bit pricier. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Not really, but you know. So I saw these and I was like, heck yeah. Like they just looked good. They were, wow. Oh. <laughs> we'll get back to that. Um, they looked really nice. They were super cute. The girl who had them on, was like rocking the, the outfit that she had on. So just like it all in all, I was like, heck yeah, need to have them, right? So these were meant to be, um, what appeared to be, I can't think of what the name of it is, but they were meant to be a type of shoe that I don't have anything of, right? Uh, these are, they have to be less than a kilogram. <laughs> I mean, these are so super, super light, but as I'm looking at them, they don't have anything wrong with them. They're put together really well, so I can't really say anything bad about, you know, the overall make of these shoes. Um, they don't look like they're going to be very comfortable when it comes to, like, bending and stuff. Uh-oh, I found my first flaw. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but right there is, like, a crack in the shoe. Almost looks like a, they took a box cutter to something and they accidentally cut into the shoe. So, point off for that. Uh, the shoe itself, the, the shoelaces are super short and they just tied them in a little knot right there. Love that. 
because then you don't have to worry about tucking your laces in. That's a whole ordeal as it is. I've tied my shoes 25 different ways in order to not have a shoelace and I still haven't perfected it. So the fact that they're like this, A1. They actually gained a point for that. <laughs> um, they did look to be a little bit more cream if I remember correctly, not so white. Um, I'm really not great with white shoes, but I'm for it because these look so cute. So is it trendy? Is it cute? To me, yes, they nailed it. Do I recommend it? Let's try them on first before I get there. Um, the price. I think the price is pretty reasonable for this. Now, I would like to have a little bit more weight, a little bit more construction to them, I guess. Um, but I'm okay with that. We can bypass that. And is is the comfort there? Again, let's try them on. We'll go from there. So let's go ahead and try these on and see what we think. Let's go. All right. So here are these little guys. And believe it or not, I actually just kept my water shoes on and slid my feet in here. So, comfort, they're actually pretty comfortable. They feel very lightweight, obviously, because there's barely anything to them in the weight section. Uh, so that's really good. Do they look good? Yes, I think that they do. They're a little, like, fat feeling, but that could be because I put my water shoes on with them. You know, like, they don't make my feet look big, though. If they're just wide, you know what I mean? Like right here it seems wide but i can get past that again it's not a big deal i think that the look of them uh the comfort of them kind of overweighs that a little bit and with some cute little ankle socks i think that'll kind of take it away a little bit i did get these in a size 39 which is technically a size 8 to 9 but they do fit me even with these little thick socks on i think that they're going to be a little tiny bit big so I would definitely say get your size. Uh, don't be afraid to get your size with these uh, because I do think that they actually are correct sizing with these. So I would say a four out of five for sure. Love them. I will definitely be rocking them. Let's go see what we have next. So we'll go with these guys. These guys I got in a size 38. Um, they were $13.96 and then after shipping $14.86. So not too bad, $14, $15, we'll, we'll say $15, you know. Um, now when I saw these shoes, I'll be honest, I thought they were gonna look hell of a lot different. They still are cute, but, and they look just like the picture. And if I'm being honest, they look just like the picture, but for some reason, I thought they were gonna be something else. And that's my fault, not the shoes fault. You know what I'm saying? That's not the website's fault because they genuinely do look just like the picture, but the way that the model had them on, you know how the picture always looks different and then you get the shoe and you're like, it looks like it, but like it's not what I expected, that's the shoe. So, very cute. I think in my opinion, yes, I think that they are very cute. They have a little buckle here to add like to like the aesthetic. Um, they look like elf shoes to me. Sarah! Oh my God! I do like how this like dips down. I think that that's very cute and, uh, feminine to a very plain shoe. Uh, I think that that actually makes a huge difference in the way that they look. Um, but I definitely think that they look like a pair of those. Do you guys remember, maybe not, but they're those wood shoes. That's what these remind me of, those wooden shoes. I'll place a picture up here so that you guys can see uh, what I'm talking about. But as far as durability goes, they're very durable. They're very flexible. They feel really good. The quality is, you know, on point. Bottoms, very basic, very, you know, generic bottoms. Probably the very lowest, least prices that they could get to make this sole. So I don't know how good it will be as far as like not falling or not slipping, but still very nice. This is what the photo looks like. If you're okay with this, hands down, get them. But I don't know, you know? So let's go ahead and try these on, see if they fit see if they're good uh, as far as like, are they comfortable and that kind of thing. And then we'll kind of get our full recommendation. All right, so here these guys are. Uh, I can't get over the fact that they look like those wooden shoes, but they're a little bit snug. Um, if I weren't going somewhere where I had to do a lot of walking or standing, then yes, these would be great. The grip of these shoes are actually pretty good. Like I keep on like stopping myself on the carpet you know like that so the grip is pretty good and i do think that they're cute with the right outfit these would be extremely cute um but uh, and they're and they're different 
you know? So again, same thing there. Because even of the way that they fit, I would definitely say, say to size up. But that could be a little bit tricky, you know, because you could size up. And then with these types of shoes, they could like flop on you. So I'm, I, I think it would be fair to say to size up. And I, I'm not too worried about that. So size up. If you do like these shoes, then good. Go for it. That's a reasonable price, 15 bucks for these shoes. They're different. They're cute. You know, they do fit me. And I think maybe once I break them in a little bit, they're going to be more comfortable. Uh, they're definitely unique. So I'd say, yeah, go ahead. I would recommend these. Go ahead and get you some if you want some. <laughs> and I would definitely rate these probably a three out of five. So yeah, cute, comfy a little bit. So let's move on. Yeah, I definitely think that these shoes, if you, once you break them in, they might be okay. I'm gonna say take it, take it at your own risk because I don't know, you know? Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we have two pair, you know, we'll go with these ones. So these ones were $14.04 and then shipping came along, <laughs> you know, good old shipping. And they turned to $19, oh, uh, $19.09 to be exact. So not a huge deal again, less than $20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's cool. Let's see. Okay, they wrapped them pretty good, you know. Um, I, I'm looking at these because I'm, I'm a bit confused because I don't remember these being the shoes that I ordered. Please hold. Let me. Okay, so further investigation, I have come to see that there were two different shoes in the same listing. So I thought I was getting one pair. And I accidentally got another pair, which was my fault, not their fault. However, why you gotta be so confusing? <laughs> so one shoe, different colors, bam, you're done, you know? <laughs> not this shoe. Okay. So back to this shoe. So again, there's nothing wrong with the shoe. It's just different, you know, uh, in all ways. So we have this. Um, this right here is like a reddish tone and then we have the brown here which would be fine but it doesn't seem to go together in my opinion so if this were like a very beige color then it would be fine but because it has that like reddish tone it almost makes it to where you have to wear something red or something in in those in, in red group you know uh, it has this cute little zipper that goes down here and then it zips up and then there's the zipper all the way around here and then your heel is out and your toes are out because those are the two most things that you want hanging out of your foot. Your crusty ass heels and your crusty ass toes. No, nobody wants those two things to be on display, especially me. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but I just don't want to see somebody's heels and I don't want to see somebody's toes. Two, two things. Yeah. Anyways, so here is what the bottom looks like. I did size up on these and get a 39, so we're hoping for the better with this. Are they are they trendy? So I would definitely say um, these are definitely a little bit further out of my my thing, but uh, I'm not I'm not opposed to this if it fits right and they're cute. I might say okay. Losers. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, I mean, for almost $20, you're getting a wedged heel. You're getting a cute little zipper doodah thing. Uh, you're getting your heel and toes exposed. Oh my God. Should have been like $50. Um, this is like, in my opinion, almost like a nineties trend. So, Ooh, I'm all, I'm on that like teeter totter, you know, if they fit me when I put them on, I might totally change my mind. All right, so without further ado and keep it on talking, uh, let's try them on and see what we think. All right, let's go. All right, so here are these shoes. And <clears throat> I don't know, you know, these ones are hard because I like what they were trying to do with them. They're like a little bit too much going on, you know. Uh, I did think that right here was going to be super uncomfortable around my leg. It's not at all. However, 
this part is. So that's odd. It's not super uncomfortable, but I can definitely like feel it when I'm walking. They are good because they have this zipper here. So you can make it looser if you have, you know, bigger legs or bigger ankles, you can make it a little bit looser. And you know, if your legs are skinnier, then you can make it super tight. I would probably give these shoes again about a three out of five because they're not horrible. Um, they're not great, but they're not horrible and they do fit well. So I like that. Um, these are again, one of those shoes that I would say, if you like what you see, get them. If you don't, don't, you know, I would recommend these because they look like the picture. They're less than $20, <laughs> a dollar less. Um, so nonetheless, less than $20. They do look like what they're supposed to look like. They are pretty much good quality. And, you know, they show off your best assets. Your toes. <laughs> your heel. Let's go ahead and move on. See what we have next. All right. So we're going to bring it down a notch. You know, you know what I'm saying? We're going to bring it back down. We're going to bring it back down to comfort, home, you know, all of that juicy stuff. With some slides. <laughs> So these ones were four dollars and seven four top four top. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Four dollars and seventeen cents plus shipping, which brought it up to seven thirty nine. Trickery, you know. Thinking you're getting slides for under five dollars. No, no, no. And that shipping seven dollars. <laughs> but um seven thirty nine, not too bad, even still. I got these in a size thirty eight thirty nine. So these are of course bound to fit me, right? That's what you think. They are a pair of white slides because I don't, honestly, I don't have anything like this, you know? So the only thing I don't like about them is that on this part, because I don't know what this is called. On this part, it says simple fashion. I could live without it saying that, but because it's white and because it's engraved and it's not written on there, I think that it's a little bit harder to see. So that's always nice. Um, I love the fact that it has like this embellishment right here, super cute. Um, it almost looks like a quilt, so hopefully it feels like a pillow when I'm standing on it. Um, not a fan of like the air holes right here, but hey, my feet definitely won't sweat, you know? Um, they definitely look like my size, so that's good. The bottoms, you know, basic bottoms. And yeah, so would I recommend it by the price? I think the price points is the point. I think that the price point is there, less than $10. You get a cute pair of slides with a lot of good detailing. Um, are they trendy? Are they cute? Yeah, I think that they are. You know, again, I don't like the simple fashion written on it, but hey, I don't really care. I'm not one of those, you know, people that has to have a Nike check on it for me to wear it. No, I'm good. Simple, direct, to the point is what I like when it comes to this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? The last thing we have to see is, is it comfortable? Now, hopefully they are, since they are a pair of slides, but let's find out. Are they trash or are they treasure? <laughs> let's go. All right, so here these little guys are, and they barely fit. I mean, you see my heel right there? Like, I'm pushing it a little bit, but they're very comfortable. Them little quilt-like patterns on there also does make it feel like I'm walking on, like, little sponges. So that's a nice treat for my feet. Um... I can definitely wear these. These would be my shower shoes. So like, cool, happy about that. Um, I don't really like feet, so I'm gonna make this very quick. They are very comfortable and yep, that's all. All right, so our final thoughts to this video is, yes, so happy I tried it. Um, that's the first thing. And my second thing is, you know, I think I got some pretty good, good shoes today. They're all shoes that I definitely will wear. Um, they're all shoes that I will definitely get use out of they're all shoes that I could pretty much recommend um and they're all they all fit you know and that's the main thing that I want to say in this video is that they all fit if you like this video obviously please make sure that you give it a thumbs up make sure that you comment down below what was your favorite and if you'd like to play the game with me which I would love if you did I would like you to put down below your number one number two number three number four in number five in order of which ones you liked the best. All right, you guys. So that does it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. 
and the bell so that you never miss out. All right, and until next time, guys, I'll see you later.